This is keyboardist Greg Fox. I'm going to show you today how to play Cashmere. I'm the composer and creator of the Renaissance Rock Orchestra, a project that uh, over the years has done three albums. I'm working on the fourth now, and we've had uh, over 30 different artists perform on our records. It's kind of a revolving door of rock stars. Uh, we've had artists from Guns N' Roses, ACDC, White Snake, Foreigner, Yes, Heart. It goes on and on and on. But also on the side, I play in a all-star Zeppelin tribute show called The Moby Dicks for the last 10 years where I've been playing a lot of Zeppelin. And in that band, I play with uh, uh, the bass player from Ozzy, Phil Suzanne, Brian Tishy, who's played with White Snake and Foreigner on drums, Chaz West, who was a singer in Bonham with uh, John Bonham's son, uh, Jason Bonham, and uh, several different guitarists over the years that have included uh, White Snake guitarist Doug Aldridge, now in the Dead Daisies, uh, Jimmy Burkhardt from Billy Idol, and also Brent Woods from Sebastian Bach. I'm going to show you today how to play uh, the bridge section, the G section in, in the song Cashmere. Having played it live for many years now with a rock band, uh, there's a few things that I've done to try to make the string passages in that section and jump out. And I'm going to show you how I do that and how I play the parts here shortly. A couple different things. I often play a lot of my music uh, where I have separate keys tuned atonally, out of key, um, with different sounds on one note because I can only play so many things with my ten fingers and I'm trying to play three, four, five different parts. For instance, on the string part on Cashmere, when it changes, I'm also doing French horn part down below, French horn trombones, and this is an E and an A that I have programmed onto one note by adjusting the pitch. I often play an octave range of these melodies that are actually from the song Cashmere, of course, so that they'll pop out above the band so that the string passages really are alive. five passages, the first bridge in G. I'll show you the next time in my next video. Come back and check it out. Be sure to subscribe below to Renaissance Rock Orchestra. Listen to our music on YouTube, on Spotify. You can find it anywhere on any streaming platform. But I'll have another lesson for you soon. Have a great day. Bye -bye. Hey everybody, this is Greg Fox here, the keyboardist and composer for the Renaissance Rock Orchestra and also the Led Zeppelin all-star group, the Moby Dicks. So uh, I've been playing a lot of Zeppelin for a long time. I hope you had a chance to watch How to Play Cashmere, part one. Uh, this is the G section, what I would call the bridge section. And uh, the second time around, it's a bit more complex. First of all, just to let you know what happens in this section, this is the out section. It ends up fading out. When we do this live, instead of fading out, we do it 10 times. And the last four times through the progression have the ascending line that starts at a G and ends up on a C sharp. We did that the last four. But the first six do a, a combination of two passes that have various different, various uh, different uh, contrapuntal parts in the string lines. The third and the fourth time have the run. The fifth and the sixth time, 
once again are varying different harmonies and I'm going to show you all these as we go along here and then the last four have all the ascending lines and the last three actually end up with the same part which makes it a little bit easier to remember when you get to the top it goes uh <laughs> So, but here's the first one. Here we go. This is how it goes. Uh, we have a longer hold to start with on the first passage. Uh, it's a seven count, and then it starts. Last four, seven, eight, nine, and ten have the ascending lineup. Uh, number seven has uh, a, a different thing where it goes into the. And then eight, nine, and ten have the. There you go. That's how you play it so that it pops out with a live rock band, doing it individually, one keyboardist playing all these contrapuntal lines. All right, have fun with it, enjoy. I'll see you in my next lesson, thanks, bye-bye.